Hey everyone and welcome to Light Sirens Action. Today you've tuned in on Tacky Tuesday and we will be going over the normal sinus rhythm of the heart. Normal sinus rhythm can be described as the normal and regular rhythm of the heart originating from the SA node. This typically indicates a normal and healthy human heart. So let's look at some of the characteristics of normal sinus. The rate is going to be 60 to 100 beats per minute. So any deviation of this, anything more, anything less, will not constitute as normal. Also, it will be a regular rhythm, meaning that your P waves are going to march out and your QRS complexes will march out. And speaking of P waves, those will be present and they will be upright. The normal PR interval is 3 to 5 small boxes or 0.12 to 0.20 seconds and that will be normal as well along with your QRS which is up to 3 small boxes or no more than 0.12 seconds. Alright guys so let's take a look at a normal sinus rhythm on an EKG strip. Just taking a quick glance at this, everything looks pretty regular, everything looks like it's there, but let's go through our checklist and make sure it is normal sinus. So what's the very first thing we want to check? The rate, right? So our rate is going to be 72 beats per minute, and that's normal. That falls within 60 to 100 beats per minute. So what's the next thing we check? We check regularity, right? So we're going to measure between our QRS complexes and make sure you get a really scientific uh, ruler like I have right here. I'm being sarcastic guys if you can't tell, but they appear to be regular. Now we're going to measure between our P waves and they appear to also be regular. So that is off of our checklist and we're on to the next. What's the next thing that we need to check? It's gonna be our P waves. Our P waves upright and present. So they appear to be on this 12 lead, but let's take a closer look. Taking a closer look, you can see that the P wave is there, so it is present and it is upright. But before we continue, I just wanted to go over what the P wave actually represents. So the P wave represents the depolarization of the atrium or the atrial contraction. So the atrium's on top of the ventricles, right? And overall, anatomically, it's smaller than the ventricles. So just remember, when you're looking at the P wave on the EKG strip, it's gonna be a smaller wave in comparison to the ventricles contracting. Okay, so Ray, regularity and P wave is all taken care of. What's the next thing on our list? It's going to be our PR interval and what do we remember about our PR interval? It's 3 to 5 small boxes meaning 0.12 to 0.20 seconds long and you just pull out your handy dandy scientific ruler and make sure that it marches out or you just take a closer look and see. Okay so we've established that the rate's normal, uh, the rhythm is regular, the P wave is present and upright, the PR interval is normal, so what's the last thing we want to check? It's going to be your QRS, right? So the normal duration will be three small boxes or less, and it appears as though that it is a normal QRS. But let's touch on what the QRS actually does. So this represents the depolarization of the ventricles or a ventricular contraction. So in comparison to the P wave, the QRS is really big, and that's because the ventricles are actually bigger than the atrium. When you see that big wave, that's going to represent the big part of the heart contracting. So what does all of this actually Actually mean. This means that we have a normal sinus rhythm. But before we finish this video, we're forgetting one important thing that can actually tell us a lot about what's going on with the heart, and it is the T wave. The T wave comes after the QRS wave, and it actually represents the repolarization of the ventricles or the relaxation of the ventricles. Okay guys, there you have it, normal sinus rhythm. Thank you so much for tuning in for Tacky Tuesday, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!